Hello everyone. This video will be very brief. In this video, I just want to show you a couple of tweaks and features that comes with events of um let me share my screen. So the first thing I'll be showing you is how you can stream your um event elements with your log data into event of so Let's say you are working with SQL databases. Most Azure resources usually have something they call diagnostic setting. So if you navigate from your left navigation under monitoring, you will see a um, diagnostic setting. And it gives you the option to stream um, logs into events or for further processing. And this works in real time. So it's, um, the default log configuration might not give you some of the um it might not give you some of the features that having your log in an event of would give to you. So we can um copy all logs and also audit logs as well and give it a name. So let's say I'm calling this frankly are your log data. Then you can decide where you want to send the log data to. In our case, there is a streaming to an event of, and it will tell you to choose the event of you want to stream it to. And you can also, um, there are other options here, log analytics, workspace, storage account, partner account. So if I should click on this event of, so you should have created your, um, your events of already, Create a namespace, then inside that namespace, you create your event of. Then you can choose it over here and save. Click on save, and that would attach the log from your SQL database to the event of. So anytime there's any kind of request to the database or from the database, um, you are going to see that in your event of. It will be streaming to your event of. And you can work with it um, as you want. Then um, the second thing I want to show us is the capture file format. So this capture file format, all the event of that we've been working with. Okay, this is um, let me go to event apps. Yeah, so let's pick this. So if I should scroll down, let me see if I can get it from here. I know it's not active for this account. You can see even this event of, we also have diagnostic setting here as well. So let me see if I have it, yeah. Okay, so basically um, this capture file, it's not enabled. And the reason it's not enabled is because of the subscription that we created. I'm just trying to get a place where I can show it to you that it is not active. I think when I go to the event of in itself, yes, so you can see under features, we have capture here. So if I should click on this capture to tell you that it is not enabled. So you can see it is off and um, <clears throat> I'm not able to turn it on. You can see the capture feature is not enabled in a basic tier namespace upgrade if you want to use it. But basically what this does is that it allows you to back up your, um, your events into a storage account. So if you want to store it somewhere or you need to have the events data saved for maybe regulatory reasons or something, this capture um feature is something that you might need to utilize yeah but over here it's not enabled and um if let me just quickly show you even at the point of provisioning you also have the option of working on it so let's assume we want to create a new um so if i should go to the standard I just give it a random name. Then let's say we go to next. 
Let me see. Let's go to the next. I just want you to see where we have the option for capture file. Okay, so I think that should be from when we are creating our event or not from the namespace, but the namespace would impact it. So let's, as we want to create a new event hub, you can see that there's an option for capture here. So if I should go to next capture, you can see that it's not enabled. So assuming this was the standard um, namespace for event hub, this um, we will be able to toggle this to be turned on and we, and we can specify the storage account that we want to store this into. So these two key features are important when it comes to one diagnostic setting, which is um, you are going to see that in a lot of resources on Azure. So you can always stream events that pertain to that service to event of. Then the second is storage account. So if you want to bypass some of the storage limitations of the event hub and you want to store the data to another service that you have more control over, then you, um, a storage account might be useful. And for you to do that, this capture um, feature is something that you can use for that. Okay, so those are the two um, features that I want you to be aware of in this video. Um, I hope you find it informative. If you do, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, everyone.